Uh, Brian Hoyer ready to go for it, He's all set. All right. He's the Browns quarterback. They got Steelers coming up this weekend, and Brian joins us. Now, uh, sources close to me, Brian, tell me that I've been a topic of conversation in your household. Um, I told my wife I was going to be on with you today, and she goes, isn't he the one who, after you beat Minnesota last year, he's like, Brian Hoyer with the game-winning touchdown pass. His wife's nine months pregnant. He delivered. And I was like, yep, that's him. There you go. See? <laughs> I'm just a team player there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so how's the baby? She's good. She's almost one. She'll be one on the 15th. Okay, but how weird is it to play a game when you're – you have to be thinking a little bit about your wife delivering a baby, right? At sure, some point? No I mean, at the time, you know, I just started playing. It was my first, my first start, and she's – you know, she was due like two weeks later. And I'm like – and I knew once – if we got past Minnesota, we had like two home games and then like a bye or something like that. So I knew – I was like, let's just make it past this weekend, and, and we'll be good. At least I'll be in town. And, um, you know, so be it, I got hurt two weeks later, and um, it didn't really matter at that point anymore. Put us in the huddle when you guys are getting roughed up against Tennessee. Like here, here we go again with the Browns with the comeback, you know, the Steelers game. So sure. What, what's halftime like? Um, you know, I think if anything, it was, you know, we were, we were uh, somewhere we had just been a few weeks before and we knew that we were capable of making the comeback. I think if anything, it was a little bit easier because we scored right before halftime and we were going to come out and get the ball. And I don't think anyone panicked. I think if anything, we just, you know, try to get our stuff together and, and um, go out and play one play at a time and, and try not to look at the scoreboard, just, you know, worry about that play and then move on to the next one and, and on to the next one and, and kind of just, you know, build it piece by piece. Yeah, had a little dance after the game. It got a little, got, <laughs> yeah. got, got a little bit of run. How would you uh, describe that dance? Um, well, you know, I saw Joe Thomas in there, and it looked like he needed some help, and uh, I just jumped in there and, and tried to imitate what the rest of my teammates were doing. Um, you know, it was it was a fun moment, and, and everyone was having fun. And, you know, with all I've been through over the past, you know, year with the injury, um, you know, competition, those types of things, I just want to go out and enjoy it because you never know, you know, when it can get taken away from you. And, and to win a game in that fashion and, to, you know, I – that video is, I, I think I just got back in the locker room from, from doing the interview on the field and I saw what was going on and, and I saw Joe Thomas in there and I was like, if he's going in, I'm definitely going in. What'd your wife say? Um, she critiqued my, my dance moves a little bit, but you know, she thought it was fun. Was it white man overbite that we usually do when we're at a wedding reception? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, just get in there and, and do whatever feels right. And, you know, I, if you notice, I didn't stay in, in the circle too long. <laughs> Joe looks pretty good, though. I mean, that was, what, yeah. six, six, five, 300 or something? Oh, yeah. He's he's athletic <laughs> for a big guy, and uh, he wasn't too stiff. I think he, there's a little stiffness in the hips, you know, with some of those moves. But for the most part, he uh, he didn't do too bad for himself. He's Brian Hoyer, the Browns quarterback at the Steelers coming up uh, at home, joining us Dan Patrick show. When did you feel like this was your job? Um, well, I never felt like it wasn't. I mean, ever since I played last year, um, you know, we had some success. We won some games, and then unfortunately the injury occurred. And even after that, I, I knew at some point, you know, I'd be healthy and I'd be back. And, and I, I just thought things would kind of pick up where, they, where I left them off. And obviously there was, you know, a lot of stuff going on here in the off season. And, and to me, I just try to focus on my rehab and, and what I needed to do to, to learn a new offense to get better each day. But, you know, I earned a lot of my teammates' respects, respect last year, and, and I just tried to do the same, you know, this year. And, and I think, um, you know, winning some of these games, I think that's how you earn your teammates' respect, and, and I've been able to do that. Do you think the media was rooting, if not against you, then for Manziel? Um, to be honest, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it. Um, how could I know, you not, Brian? It, it would have um, driven me crazy. Don't go, on, don't go on TV. Don't go on the internet. Don't read the newspaper. Don't go on social media. I mean, I just I knew that if I could eliminate that from my life, it would be one less distraction. And um, you know, it, it kept life pretty simple. I mean, you know, with training camp, you're so busy as it is, and and there's so little time. You know, I wanted to see my family as much as I could. So you know, right after practice, I'd spend time with them, and then I'd come in and because of because of um, the rehab, I had to do a lot of stuff for my knee, and you know, I, I just didn't have a lot of time to, to even check up on it. And um, you know, it, it made my life a lot more simple than had I been going on and trying to read everything. What's your role, though? Do you have to be friends with uh, Manziel, with your backup? Yeah, I mean, whoever your backup you know, we're, we're definitely we definitely get along, and I, I, you know, we're not the best of friends, but I don't think you know I'm best friends with a lot of guys on the team. You know, we're we're here and we're coworkers and we're teammates, but um, I think in the same sense, Johnny 
has done a great job of, you know, trying to, you know, learn as much as he can and, and be a professional. And, and, you know, I've, you know, my time with him is, is in this building and, you know, I haven't seen him do anything wrong while he's here. So, um, you know, I think our relationship has definitely grown as, as time has gone on, just like any relationship would. And it's, um, it's a great quarterback room. We have, you know, obviously Kyle Shanahan is the offensive coordinator, and then our quarterback coach, Dow Loggins, and, and Johnny and myself, and, and Connor Shaw. And, you know, it's just great. It's a great bunch of guys. And when you have to be with someone for, you know, 12 hours a day, you know, five days a week, you better get along or else it's going to be a long year. And, and I think we've done a great job of, you know, making that work. How was draft night, though, for you? Um, well, I only planned on staying up to watch, or you know, at least watching to the fourth pick, and then we <laughs> traded back. And I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll wait till we, you know, make the next pick. And then when we we uh, drafted Justin Gilbert, I was like, all right, you know, I'm gonna go to bed, or you know, whatever I was I was gonna do. And then the TV kind of stayed on, and as things kind of went along, you know, I was like, mm, this, you know, something might fall, you know, into our hands, and I better just stay up and watch. And actually before, you know, they actually drafted him, Ray Farmer texted me and, and let me know, you know, what was going to happen and, you know, said this this has nothing to do with how we feel about you. You just keep doing your thing. And, you know, I've trusted those guys all along, and, and they've never lied to me. So, you know, you know, I believe in, in what they tell me. Best Michigan State quarterback in the NFL is? Um, I don't know. I'll let you answer that. <laughs> That means it's you, right? <laughs> Obviously, I'm biased. Um, you know, I believe in myself. <laughs> I'd I'm hope very so. In my ability, so, but I don't. You know, I'm, I'm not the type of guy to, to gloat. Hey, congratulations! You're, you're allowed to gloat after the win over Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, it's still early though. It's only four games. It's a long road in the NFL. Uh, hey, good luck. Uh, Thank and, you, and uh, good to have you on. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, thanks for having me.